Welcome to the Pitmaster University YouTube channel. I'm David Ong. Today's recipe is an absolute cracker and one of my favorite things to eat as a side for barbecue. I keep on getting a lot of questions. What sides do you have, Ongi? And this is one of my favorite ones to have with brisket or any barbecue dish. And so originally, uh, the first time I've ever had this uh, was, was uh, in the US. I was visiting Bill Duma with my mate Will, William Voice and we had it at Creekside Cookers and then we had this awesome thing called corn casserole and I'd never heard of, as an Aussie, never heard of it before. Uh, and then we tasted it and it was absolutely amazing and something I had to know how to cook. So this is uh, this recipe is actually originally from Recipe 10 Eat. Go give them a like and a follow. They've got some great content as well. Um, but I thought I'd share it with you guys um, and get it to a barbecue audience. So uh, yeah, thanks again. Uh, here's the recipe now, enjoy. Two thirds of a cup of plain white flour, a half a cup of cornmeal, polenta works just fine. One quarter cup of white sugar, one tablespoon of baking powder, make sure it's not baking soda, quarter teaspoon of salt, and a pinch of cayenne pepper and mix that through nicely. One can of corn kernels, one can of cream corn, two beaten eggs, 115 grams of melted butter, one cup of sour cream, two tablespoons of vegetable oil. Now you want a nice neutral flavoured oil, so vegetable oil is perfectly. Mix it through all thoroughly, make sure you get all those sour cream lumps out of it, then add the dry ingredients. Mix that through, whoops, bit of a spill there. Make sure that's all nice and even. And this is what she should look like. Place in the casserole dish. Spread that out. You might want to give that a bit of a tap down. And that's it. Okay, so we're going to preheat the oven to 325 Fahrenheit or 160, 165C. And then uh, we're going to generally cook it between 55 and 60 minutes. Uh, uh, with a non-fan forced oven, 50 minutes for a fan forced oven. Okay, so it's been 50 minutes. Let's check this. Okay, you see that guys? Okay, it's looking for bring it close to the camera. See that now? What we're looking for, I'm gonna bring this pull this out here. I just want to touch it. Now it should be a, have a little bit of a wobble to it. That feels like it could go a tiny bit longer to me, okay? So I'm gonna stick that in for another five minutes. We'll come back shortly. That's done. Okay, so I actually, let's have a look at that. I actually like to eat this the next day, because what I do, I reheat it, and then it browns up that top a bit more and makes it like this great texture. It's like a bit crispy, crunchy. Okay, cool. So we'll show you the finished product shortly. Usually my partner does this, so I'm not very good with this bit. But you can just scoop it out, you don't have to go to the extreme of cutting it nice and neat like this. Have a look at this. Oh, oh. will you look at that? You see that? That's magic. 
Oh, it's so crumbly, melt in your mouth. It's like a little bit crusty on the top. Absolutely gorgeous. See that? Oh, so good. Now to eat it. Alrighty guys, here we go for the taste test, the moment of truth. Have a look at that. Have a look at that, I'm not sure if you can see that. That looks, it smells so good. Here we go. Oh. Oh my goodness. It's like moist and fluffy inside. And then you got this crust on the top. This is such a great accompaniment for brisket. <laughs> Yum. Mm. So, so good, guys. Once again, thanks a million for watching. Really appreciate it. If you can do us a big favor, like and subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this. I'm going to do a lot more sides. And it's this time of year again. Have a very, very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Thanks, guys.